Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's video I'm going to be making a lazy lasagna. It is from The Lazy Dish. I found it on Pinterest. Pinterest has literally been my go-to uh, place for recipes, especially easy recipes. So this one calls for four ingredients. So um, a bag of ravioli. Um, on the recipe, it calls for cheese ravioli. I picked up beef. Um, a jar of marinara sauce. I just picked up some traditional ragu sauce. Um, this one's actually one of my favorites because it's not clumpy. It doesn't have all that extra stuff. But that's just me personally. Shredded mozzarella. And this one's actually an optional and it's Parmesan cheese. So uh, first it asks to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. And then next is to grease a baking dish. Let's grease this up. All right, next is to uh, spread a thin layer of the sauce on the bottom of the pan. So let's do that. All right, next is arrange half the frozen raviolis a single layer over the sauce. Um, on the um, instructions, it says about 12 of them. Um, I, when I first did this recipe, I got the recommended um, pasta, which is the, let me see, which brand is it? The Celentano uh, bag, and it fit perfectly. I did everything the way they did it, but today, my Save Mart didn't have that ravioli and I didn't want to go anywhere else, so I just picked up their store brand ravioli. So we're just going to go with it. So I picked up actually two bags because it looked a little small, but you do what you feel is best for you and your family. So with the other brand, I know they're a lot like bigger, so it takes up all the space. So actually these are a lot smaller, which is fine. Use what you like. And these are frozen. I didn't thaw them out or anything. All right, so with this small bag, 15, which is fine. I still have some extra here and I have another bag. All right, and then once we have that on there, you top with sauce and cheese, and then you just keep repeating. Um, so we'll do that. And then it asks for half a cup, uh, half a cup of shredded Parmesan, and which is an optional because you can spread it out. I just have it like this, and I just sprinkle a little bit on top, and then keep layering.
All right, once that's done, you'll cover um, the baking dish with an aluminum foil, bake for 30 minutes, and then you'll remove the foil and you'll cook it for another 15 minutes or until the cheese starts turning brown. It's been uh, half an hour. Uh. All, right. All right, so that's what it looks like. My lemon foil got on the cheese, so that's okay. So now um, for another 15 minutes. All right, it's been the 15 minutes and this is what it looks like. Um, just make sure when you put the aluminum foil that you give it some space because I got cheese stuck on it so it doesn't look as pretty as it should. But yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and thank you for watching and I hope you guys all have a wonderful week. Bye.